It is so great seeing my next guest back in action. He's going to be taking on half of Garcia UFC fight night, April 16th. It's the body snatcher, Jesse Ronson, back here on the program. Jesse, how's it going, man? Good. I don't understand why I can't take on a full Garcia. I got to take on half of Garcia. There you go. You're, you're not even a dad yet. You're uh, making the dad jokes. That's supposed to be my job here. But uh, it's uh, it's really good to see you back, man. I know, obviously, the last year and a bit has just been crazy. Um, For those who might not know what happened with the whole suspension and all that, uh, could you maybe give like a Coles Notes version? Because obviously, I think just looking at you, knowing your personality, and I've known you forever. I mean, you're not a guy who's going to go out there and use steroids intentionally. I know there was some stuff that sort of happened there. Yeah, it's really screwed up because... You know, Facebook, how they have memories every day that you can check. Yeah. It's like all the memories I check from Facebook is like me bashing people that take steroids and all of a sudden I get caught for doing it. It's like, I'm not going to be the guy that talk shit about people using it and then use it myself because I know I'd get burned alive. But uh, I believe it's a tainted supplement because I've never taken steroids and I never would. I, I used all of the supplement that I was taking, so I had nothing to send USADA. So... You know, I did everything and anything I could to try and prove my innocence. But again, unless you have some of the supplement that you're taking. So I haven't done anything different. I just stopped taking the one supplement. I've had 10 clean tests. So just a whole big bunch of bullshit. And uh, but yeah, everything's good. Everything's back on track and we're ready to go. Were you worried at all that that might have been the end? Because I know even getting back into the UFC, remember there was that whole thing with you and Shelby and then it got resolved. Um, did that ever go through your head when that happened? A hundred percent. I was like, this is it. Like, it was a dark moment. It was a very dark week, like 10 days. Like, I was like, this is it for me, especially with 2018 having Sean Shelby said this, you know, you're never going to fight for the UFC again. And then somehow managing to get my way back only to have that, you know, my first fight back and first win taken away from me for Ben's, you know, Ben's substances. I was like, he's going to fucking boot me. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, like I said, I, I, you know, it was a very dark time. I, contemplated some things that I shouldn't have, you know, that I'd never would have gone through with, but you know, here I am. (laughs) Understandable, man. I mean, I I know it's rough. And and how did you deal with the backlash? You know, you get these, all these idiots on social media who, you know, just assume things. And again, like I followed your career for a long time. I know, you know, obviously I know who you are. So how did you deal? How'd you get through that part of things? Oh man, it was rough. It just, you got to ignore it. Cause it's like the people who know me, who really know me like you and the people they know that I would never do this and the people who love me and, you know, care for me know that they're still going to love and care for me. And they know that I would never do this. And, you know, I've gotten some messages from people being like, that's what you fucking get juice pig. Or like if people start losing an argument, if I say something on social media, they don't like, they just immediately revert. Like they go to the steroid thing and I'm like, Oh wow. Good, good comeback. You know, I've gotten some messages from people saying, yeah, that's what you get, you piece of shit. Like, I drugged you. Like, I'm the one that put this stuff in your water bottle. And I'm like, holy fuck. Like, I've gotten three or four different messages from people saying that they're the ones that, you know, put the shit in my my, my drink or my food or whatever it is to get me banned. Like, I, there's a lot of fucked up people out there. Pardon my French, but. No, so swear away, man. I know we're Canadian. We're supposed to be polite, but I like the I like the honesty there. And there are a lot of whack jobs on there uh, when it comes to because uh, I, I get it, too. I mean, not not to that degree, but I mean, that's still pretty insane. Um, so last time we saw you, obviously, uh, you know, the the fight against Dolby. Um, wh- where do you feel like you've improved since we last saw you? Because I know you're not just sitting on the couch. You're you're going in the gym. You're putting the time in. Is there anything in particular that you're looking to showcase or anything you feel like you've really improved on since the last time we saw you? Oh man, I've been working my ass off for 20 months. Like, uh, guys at adrenaline, you know, they, they were let me in during the pandemic, let me bring a couple of guys in, you know, some people who had mats at their apartment. Like I was not, I have not been resting. Uh, if it wasn't for that, what fourth or fifth lockdown, I would have been promoted to BJJ black belt, uh, by the, the GFT team, Jake McKenzie. I think he's a fourth degree black belt. Uh, but yeah, I've been working my ass off on my ground game. I'm super comfortable there. Uh, I've been working my ass off on wrestling, always on the striking department. I, I'm better than I've ever been. Thanks to bearded bites, Matty special, my weight, I'm walking around 175. I still got, you know, five, four and a half weeks to go. I'm usually 175 a week out from weigh-ins, but now I'm just lean and mean. Uh, I'm, I'm looking like I feel like Mike Tyson when he went to jail for the first time, except for no rape charges. Like I'm ready to go. I've been wanting this like people that haven't seen me for a while. They're like, man, when Jesse walks in the room, like he looks like he's going to kill somebody like he's ready to go. It's it's time. And, you know, I've got 20 months worth of fighting to make up. Like I want to fight six times this year and uh, I'm going to make quick work of uh, half a Garcia. 
uh, April 16th so I can get back in there May 21st, May 28th, you know, and just keep going. What do you know about Hafa? Uh, you know, you have almost, I think, double the fights he does. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him here styl- stylistically? Oh, he's a, he's a perfect fight. You know, he's tough. He's a, you know, tough Mexican wrestler, boxer. So uh, he's not an idiot. He likes to throw hands, but when he realizes that he can shoot, he'll shoot. Uh, according to Cub Swanson, his main training partner, he's the strongest guy he's ever grappled with. So I want to engage in grappling just to see how strong this guy is because I'm like, hmm. He's no Michelle Prezeras, you know, and I've grappled with that guy. Uh, I would love to see how strong the strongest guy Cubs ever grappled with uh, is. But, yeah, he's a perfect stylistic matchup. He likes to throw hands. Not very good with the kicks. Uh, doesn't really like to engage in jiu-jitsu matches. Loves the scrambling aspect, which is good for me. So uh, I think it's a great matchup for me to come back to after uh, a 20-month layoff. And uh, I'm going to be the first guy to knock him out. Training partners, who have been some of the main guys that have been helping you get ready for this fight? Uh, right now, it's Patrick McKinnis. Uh, TJ Laramie is going to come down. We're going to do some sparring. He's nice. fighting a guy that's kind of like me, and I'm fighting a guy that's kind of like him. It'd be great. Uh, I was training with Kyle Propolek for his uh, fight with... Shane uh, Campbell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple of times there. Scott Hudson came down. Uh, Adam Asenza, Ergus. Uh, I can't even pronounce his last name. It's like Sagat. Sagat. Yeah. Sagat. <laughs> He's an absolute beast. Uh, I got another guy whose name is Rafael at the gym. Uh, I, his last name's, you know, alphabet soup to me. So I call him <laughs> Bill Jenkins. It's like Rafael, Bigazo, Jomengas. I can't remember, but... Uh, It'd be tough to put on a hockey jersey, right? With how long it is? He's a, a wrestler. He wrestled in the States in high school and then came over to Canada. So he's a very good wrestler. He's about the same size, actually a little bigger than Rafa Garcia and a lot better at jiu-jitsu. So, you know, I've been doing work with him. Uh yeah, and pretty much anybody and anybody at this point in my career with the amount of experience that I have, I can get good work off of pretty much anybody. I just tell them, like, this is what I need you to do. And, you know, I can drill. I can get whatever I need from them and put it to work. One name I think we mentioned in our last interview, and I haven't heard from him in a while. I know he's got a great career going outside the cage now. Uh, Chad LaPreeze, w- w- he was doing uh, pl- police work, I believe, uh, last time we spoke. Uh, what's he up to? Just like, keep in touch with him. I see him here and there at the gym. Uh, yeah, he's still a police officer. Loving that stuff as far as I know. But uh, all he does is jiu-jitsu now. And uh, yeah, I see, like I said, I see him from time to time, depending on his shift work. Cool. That's awesome. And uh, who's going to be making the trip with you? Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, Jesse Goff, my jiu-jitsu coach is coming. Danny Rubenstein, my manager. Oh, cool. Uh, he's got a great eye for MMA. Like every time I've had him in my corner, he sees things. Uh, I, he's a very underutilized weapon for, I don't understand why more people don't have Danny in the corner. Like he's at every fight. He trains, he trains all the time with different people. He sees things, he knows what he's talking about. So Goff and Ruben Seed are going to be in my corner and I'm bringing uh, an old time friend who's been with me since my team Canada days, uh, Gus Kendillis. He's an osteopath and he was uh, the head of combat sports uh, medical team here in Canada for many, many years. So he's coming down with me just to make sure everything goes smooth. And I, you know, don't fall apart, I guess. <laughs> you said a finish is going to take place. How do you see this fight unfolding on April 16th? Uh, first round. He comes out hard. He's big and strong. He likes to use his muscles. Uh, I can see me ga- gassing him out in probably two or three minutes with the pace that I'm going to put on because I'm going to put on a pace and make him work. And uh, every fight that I've seen him in where he really, you know, he tries to match uh, ferocity and intensity. Uh, people gas him out in about three minutes. He he's, he recovers well, but he really, really struggles for that last two minutes. And that's when I'm going to put him away is with the, that two and a half, two minutes left. Uh, I'm going to just crank his body and then I'm going to finish him. You mentioned, you know, being active. You want to stay, uh, you know, sort of uh, the course after this fight. Has there been any thoughts of you going down to Vegas and maybe just, you know, training there for a bit in case there's a short notice thing that comes up, especially with your manager living there? Uh, no, well, I got the, the P1 visa, so it doesn't matter short notice or not. I can take fights forever. Uh, I think it expires July next year. So whether I'm in Vegas or not, I can still take the short notice fight. I just, with the training or, you know, working with Matty Special, my weight's low and I'm, I'm stronger, I'm faster and healthier than I've ever been at 175 pounds. And I'm like, I can easily maintain this because I'm eating 3000 calories a day. I'm like, what the fuck? You drink four and a half liters of water and eating 3,000 calories a day to maintain 175. Like if I drop it by one or 200 calories, then the weight starts dropping down. But yeah, so I, I'm comfortable 
where I'm at right now. And like, like I said, I have that P1 visa so I can take short notice. And, you know, I just want to take advantage of, you know, I don't have much time left. I'm 36. You know, I think I can do this till I'm 40, 41 for sure, as I've never had any major surgeries and I've never been knocked out, knock on wood, you know. So I got to get, like I said, 20 months worth. And Dana White said, if you want to get paid more, I definitely want to make a lot more money. You got to fight more. And they, he said, well, if you want to fight, we got three shows a month. So I'm like, get me on there. You just right. got to act. So I'm that guy. That's good. That's what I'm going to do in my interviews when I'm there. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm not, you know, putting anything past half of Garcia. He's a tough guy. You know, anything can happen because it's a fight. Uh, it's a roll of the dice. But, you know, I just feel that with my level that I'm at, all the new things that I've learned, uh, I've fought a lot tougher guys than he's fought. Uh, I just feel like I'm going to destroy this guy and I got to keep that momentum going. And uh, yeah. And we're looking forward to it, man. So good to see you back, Jesse. UFC Fight Night, April 16th. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Matty Special, obviously my diet coach, Bearded Bites, making it smooth, uh, keeping me strong and healthy and getting that weight low. Uh, the King, Files of Ramon, he's the only guy that sponsors me. You know, it's the UFC. I'm sure I could probably look for other sponsors, but, you know, because of Reba, or Venom, not Reebok anymore. Venom, <laughs> I've been out for a while. Uh, <laughs> Venom, I, there's, you know, there's no need for sponsors. Well, it's hard to get sponsors. So the King Faisal Ramon, the Adrenaline Training Center, uh, Adam Higson, my coach down in Diablo, you know, Jesse Goff, Brad Fowler, Andrew Elliott, all my training partners. Uh, yeah, that's cool. it. All right, yeah. man. 